Hello guys, this is Sabadin from BI Data Lab. Today we're going to show you a really, really interesting example of how to create an animation within Power BI Desktop using Shape Map and uh, this Play Axis custom visual. So, as you can see, let's start over. This uh, this play axis selects uh, a specific uh, day or month or year, and we put here a, a, a card visual which will tell us which uh, which date is is selected from this play axis, and then we have the shape map here that uh, gets colors. Depending on the number of the confirmed cases in the US. So let's if if we stop the the playing, then we will have uh, these number of cases. So this is this represents total cases in each US state. So in uh, in uh, March twentieth, we had uh, we had uh, three point uh, five. Uh, million of uh, cases confirmed so COVID-19 confirmed cases and uh, we will show you now real quick how to create this so let's uh, minimize this and let's open a fresh Power BI desktop file we will get data from uh, this site here so it's usafax.org and we downloaded that I think uh, this first uh, first data set from this button here it downloads data as a CSV so we will go here and we choose the data set we need to make few simple transformations so as you can see the header is not automatically detected so we go transform data and uh, use first row as header let's remove this first change type step because we don't need it okay and it looks like we have to also remove this uh, this uh, value here so I guess this is a total for uh, for uh, state which we don't need so let's go and move this remove this uh, this value okay so now we have this these are some kind of codes which we will not use we will also not use this count county name but let's leave it there and then we have data in uh, pivoted format so we have from uh, January 2020 up to today's date or up to uh, April 1st so two days ago okay what we need to do here now is just unpivot these columns change this to date and uh, change the change the data type like this okay we are ready to load now the next step is to use the shape map, map visual which is which is this one by default it doesn't show anything so we have to put uh, some uh, some location values into the location well here so we put the state and this detects all the states of the US so we can uh, use in this uh, in this uh, visual we can use these these maps so these are integrated within uh, Power BI Desktop 
but we can also add other maps for other countries or regions if we have uh, if we have uh, appropriate uh, JSON file with all the coordinates okay so we added this and now we will add the value in the color satellite color saturation uh, well and so now we have the final fi final final uh, view of the visual which is this one so california has the most cases and uh, it looks like this but how to create the the animation like uh, we saw earlier so we go to the get more visuals here which will open the visual store and we search for play play axis dynamic slicer we click add and this custom visual will be added into our report let's make this like we did, saw in the example now let's put the play axis here and drag the date so currently it uh, because we have two years it uh, suggests us to use the year as the value but we will use the date only and uh, we can just play it now now we have to do some little uh, modifications in the behavior of these two first of all we don't need we, we don't see this very clearly so what we will do is we will add the card visual and we will put the date there and we will use the date uh, in some shorter format like this one so this is the this is the earliest date in the data set or the earliest date in the slicer but since the slicer will have only one value then this will this will represent the correct date so we can let's remove this category level like this and now let's uh, put this to go a bit uh, a bit uh, faster currently this goes uh, once uh, this refreshes gets new date every one second so we will make this to get dates 10 dates per, per second or 100 milliseconds like this okay and let's go here and choose some different colors for this uh, for this uh, map for this shape and let's use this red color for the most cases now we can play the axis now if we leave it like this then the the state with the most cases will get the will get the the red color the 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 maximum value of the color like this and they will switch if we have uh, different states having max maximum value what we can do to make this more consistent we can put we can put uh, let's see let's see what is the maximum value maximum value of the cases per day and per state how we do that let's use a table here and let's put country and the date and put the value and let's sort by the value like this not county but the state and we see that the maximum value for one day for one state is 3.57 million people so we we go here and we put the data colors to be zero 
as the minimum and then the maximum can be three five seven three five seven zero six zero two and then center let's say two million okay like this so now we can play and you see the value also changes in the table visual but uh, but since this goes very fast so 10 uh, 10 dates per second we are not able to to, to see every every date here so it's I, I guess the PC needs to be needs to have uh, better performance than this this one that I'm using right now okay so now you see how the color changes changes depending on the on the number of the cases okay we can also remove this date so we don't need that there because we have it here so let's play it again and see how this goes okay then this was what uh, we were going to show you today i hope you like this and uh, if you do like it then uh, we can also share it if you like share the pbix file you have the link uh, where uh, with the data and also please consider to subscribe to our channel and to stay with us we because we are going to make these uh, kind of cool videos in the future thank you very much have a good day